Welcome to Dorvin Kager, I'm Tanner, and today we're back for another Budget Booze Review. For those of you who don't know, that's where we take a budget bottle of alcohol, meaning under $30, and give it a good review. Today we are reviewing Meraki Coffee Flavored Pisca. So, like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dorvin Kager shenanigans, and if you are looking forward to support the craziness here at Dorvin Kager, hit us up in that Patreon link below. Welcome to the greatest review on Earth, Dorvin Kager. Okay, so... As I was explaining earlier, this is Meraki Coffee Flavored Pisca. Pisca is from South America, and basically it's a brandy from South America. I've got a friend who's Peruvian, Victor, thank you very much for this bottle. He uh, brought it up from Peru when he recently went with his family. About 20 bucks is what this will run you. Pisca is very unique to um, Southern America, um, from my understanding. So this is 20% alcohol by volume, and this bottle is 520 ml. So, I already poured a little bit. I'll tell you what, guys, this stuff pours out like syrup. Um, the closest we could come to relating it to anything on our market is probably Kahlua. Um, although I will say that this is much thicker than Kahlua. I mean, for 20% alcohol, it's almost like syrup. It, it almost pours like syrup. Look at that. Can you guys see the legs on that? That's a neat bottle. Um, Kind of classy, kind of got a barista vibe to it. There's this little booklet on the side that, uh, you know, has a little cocktail with it. Basically, it's a white Russian. Well, anyway, so let's get in there. First of all, extremely dark, dark as night. Intense coffee aromas as well as a um, syrupy, sugary kind of backing. So cheers, Victor. Wow. Now, mind you, that's only 20%, but that's damn delicious. That is this beautiful, almost chocolate flavored coffee syrup booze. I, I can't even, wow, that's really good. Now keep in mind, like I said, 20% alcohol, so there's no burn whatsoever, and you just get this very silky, smooth, syrupy, robust, cocoa, coffee flavor. It's really good. Really good. I could see why you would put this in your cup. You know what? Hold on just a second. Drinking a cup of coffee earlier. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. We're just going to do that. That's delicious. It really is. And uh, honestly, I uh, I would love to make some more cocktails with some pisca. I did some research on pisca. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to find in the United States. But if you're one of our viewers who is not in the United States, then uh, you might have better luck with this, or if you're a Peruvian. That's damn good with coffee. That is damn good with coffee. Um, I love this. This is delicious. For what this is, this is delicious. $20 US. Um, now, mind you, you'd probably spend more than $30 if you got this shipped from Peru. But um, this is delicious. Um, I love it. It's really good. I'm a huge coffee fan. I love all the flavors. It's... 4.8. The only thing that would give it a little extra oomph is um, if it was a little stronger. But besides that, it, I mean, this coffee, this is next level coffee now. Mm. So if you have a budget bottle of alcohol, meaning under $30, that you want us at Dwarf and Kager to review, hit that like, hit that bell, hit it again so you know when all of our awesome videos are coming out. And also, do yourself a favor, drop a comment below. Let me know what budget booze you want me to review. I reviewed a good amount of them. Check out that little uh, link that'll lead you right to all the playlists and all of the budget booze reviews I've done. But check them out. If I've got something on there that you've never heard of, check it out yourself. And if you want me to review something that you really enjoy that's under $30 and I've not done it yet, drop a comment below. So until next time, I don't say I don't know how to say goodbye in Peruvian, but this is really good. You should get some. Cheers. Mmm.